I would say that the environmental pollution and climate change impacts each and every human right, civil, political, social, economic and cultural human rights. The Green Deal is now the driving force uh, behind all the internal and external policies of the EU. It is the compass of the EU growth strategy, but also for our recovery after the pandemic. And um, indeed, looking at turning to trade, this is a very powerful um, a tool. Uh, so uh, trade is very powerful to trigger business responsibility vis-a-vis -vis human rights and um, environmental uh, concerns. And um, we are doing this in the EU through um, legislations, through policies and through a trade, uh, trade agreement. I must emphasize that perception is different uh, from reality, of course, which we all know. Um, uh, second point is that ranking is really a very difficult and challenging process, especially in this case because environmental challenges are really interrelated. The causes of climate change are known to us and they are expanding. Oil and gas is, is, the oil and gas industry worldwide is still expanding. My, the country in which I, I live, Australia, um, is now the world's largest exporter of um, LNG and thermal coal, and there is no national regulation to constrain it. I'm very pleased to uh, see that, as again, Commissioner Kedju said, that, uh, that the whole environment debate doesn't stop only at climate change, because that seems to be the dominant uh, point of discussion, that there are other issues also coming up. I think if, if I refer to Sri Lanka, the waste management is one of the major issues, um, and, and water pollution and air pollution as well from the industries. But I might, my, I'm wondering why we have got less uh, interest on the soil pollution, because the soil, soil pollution is a slow killer. Uh, this remains an impediment to, as you mentioned, implementing uh, programs strengthening, for example, the respect for human rights as set out in the UNGP in environmental context. A lot of our advocacy at Earth Rights International, we try to uh, change the perception and mindset of the business to be more responsible. For example, in the case of a coal mining and power plant project across Southeast Asia that Earth Rights has been engaging, uh, we see that there is a lack of understanding about the connection between environmental uh, risk and also human rights. I, I feel like we really just uh, was the top of the iceberg of, of getting into some of the findings around these questions. But in terms of the, the first question, uh, the majority of the respondents said that it did yes somewhat. Uh, align with their expectations and 14 responded that yes it did align with their expectations for the second question um, the number one co uh, choice was uh, inclusive decision making and th some of the responses around that was that inclusive decision making can enable uh, access to justice and it can enable access to information if you have fair and uh, equitable and inclusive um, decision making processes there was there was some comments actually that came out under the second um, of the need to um, talk about gender and, and how uh, we need to consider the gender dimension. So that was really important. But there is a need for stronger legal frameworks and enforcement. That was the highest response. On the question on how uh, the participants felt about whether the, the, the survey reflected or not their views, uh, not surprisingly, and, and uh, as it happened with the previous group, most of the people went into the uh, selected in somewhat yes. I don't think there was actually anybody that chose the, the no function. So in principle, it, it, was, it, it was felt that we reflected to a large extent uh, the views of, of all the participants, at least to my breakout room. On the second question of the procedural rights, uh, uh, intervention that should be uh, uh, prioritized. The point was made strongly as uh, with the previous group of, of all these options not competing with each other. One of our participants said that uh, she selected other simply because could not unselect all the others. Because again, all those procedural aspects need to be put in place. There was a feeling that many shared and, and 
I will say that when it comes to the um, legal regulation, regular intervention, they should be prioritized. Uh, stronger legal frameworks, again, perhaps not surprisingly, came uh, by far on top. Uh, but points were made about uh, enforcement. Um, on question one, not too much to add to what the, the other two groups have um, spoken about already. Um, I think mo mainly uh, participants agreed that it, it aligned with their expectations. Um, so on the second question, again, like group one, the group felt that um, inclusive decision making was key. So there were some suggestions to have sharing of good practices around inclusive decision making processes and the need to have individual groups represented in decision making processes. Um, on question three, this was slightly different from the, the main survey, the, the results in our group. So the participants felt that stronger legal frameworks and enforcement was um, the, the main issue here, the most important one. And out of the, uh, that discussion as Angela did, very impressive. Uh, thanks everybody for your participation in the breakout room and in uh, the roundtable discussion. We're not trying to figure out which intervention is better than the other. It's not really competition, but we do have in mind a, a large uh, a large-ish uh, study uh, on, on the links between business human rights and the environment. And so we wanted to know what we should prioritize uh, in that study. The point that I, I believe was made over and over and over uh, in, 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 in all the discussion was the issue of, of knowledge uh, about um, uh, uh, clarifying the linkages between uh, business and human rights and the environment. Hopefully today we took that discourse a little step ahead and started to discuss and clarify some of the issues. We do have now a, a community of practice of business and human rights and environment practitioners, those that uh, have joined the conversation today. I hope will want to join us for the rest of the discussion that we will have on business, human rights and environment. Uh, 